Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to combine lists in robot framework test automation. As explained in previous video tutorial, you can use keywords in collections library to manipulate list in robot framework test automation. You can use create list keyword to create a new list variable. And you can use the keyword log list to log the length and the content of a list. When testing web applications or other applications in some cases you may need to combine different lists together and do assertion on the list items or list values in this example i will teach you how to use the keyword combine lists to combine the given lists together and return the result. So the keyword is combine lists. And also at the test suite level, you need to import the library collections. Let's see the example. I created a list named A and initialize the list with three items a equal to create list and a b c i created another list b and assigned value d e f on the third line i defined a variable collection variable alpha or the add symbol bracket and combine lists. We combine lists A and B together. As explained in previous video tutorial, when you define a list, you need to use the add symbol, but when you use it, you use it as a scalar variable with dollar sign. So combine lists combines A and B together. So next line is log list. Is. Log list. And list should contain value. In list A, we have three items. In list B, we have three items. So when we combine AB together, the list AB should have six items altogether because a is in the list a so list should contain value a b a should pass now let's run the test i tag it the test case as list test 2 click on the run tab now let's change it to list 2 save it now we run it start so we have one critical test one passed one total test one passed and three log files were generated let's look at the console output a collection list is created with three items a b c remember that in robot framework List items are separated by the pipeline symbol, but in actual Python list, items are separated by comma. List B, D, E, F. So now we combined A, B together, A, B, C, D, E, F. Last line, list should contain value. The test passed. 
Now let's look at the log file. So the test is combined lists test and documentation combines the given lists together and returns the result. Given list does not get changed. And the critical test passed. List A is created with three items A, B, C. List B is created with three items D, E, F. We combine list A, B, C, D, E, F. Now we log the AB list combined list. Length is 6 and it contains following items A, B, C, D, E, F. Last keyword list should contain value. And this test passed. Now let's modify the test script a little bit. So we append an item to the list AB. So we type in append to list. The list is AB. Let's say we append an item named Selenium Master. So on the last line, let's say list should contain value, selenium master, or we can add another row here, we log the list, make sure the item is appended to the list AB, log list, now we log AB again, okay, now we save it. So now List A has three items, list B has three items. When we combined list A and B together, list AB has six items. We appended one item. Now the list should have seven items and list should contain value Selenium Master. Now let's click on run and start. So this test Past. Now let's look at the log file. So keyword A, create list A, B, C. A is created with three items. B is created with three items. And A, B contains A, B, C, D, E, F. Six items. We log the list. Next line is we append an item to the list, add values to the end of the list. So Selenium Master is added as an additional item to the list. Now we log the list AB. Now this list has seven items. And last test, list should contain value Selenium Master. This passed. So as explained in this video tutorial, you can use the keyword combine lists to combine given lists together and return the result. For more examples, please visit www.seleniummaster.com website. Thanks for watching.